scrape some flakes of soap into some tap water and some distilled water. Now we'll cap each jar and shake them up. Do you notice any differences in the two jars? Let's zoom in and take a closer look. It doesn't look like there's much sudsing going on in the tap water, but wow, look at the distilled water. That's a lot of suds. Let's see if we notice any more differences after the two jars sit for a while. You know, it looks to me like the tap water's cloudy, but the distilled water's clear. They say that tap water contains ions, but distilled water does not. You know, I wonder if I can get some calcium ions from this piece of chalk to dissolve in the distilled water. And if so, if the dissolved calcium ions will make the distilled water, well, act like tap water. Let's shake it up and see. Well, that didn't take very long. The distilled water, well, now it looks cloudy and the suds are gone. You know, this makes me wonder if the presence of ions in water makes it difficult for soap to form suds. Keep watching if you'd like, and I'll give you an in-depth description of the chemistry that's probably going on here. Dial soap is made in part of sodium laurate. The structure of sodium laurate is shown here, but we can also write its chemical formula like this. Sodium laurate dissolves easily in water. When it does so, it dissociates into sodium ions and laurate ions. It's these dissolved laurate ions that allow for the sudsing action. The water from the tap in many homes contains dissolved plus two ions, such as calcium ion, iron two ion, copper two ion, and magnesium ion. These ions react with the laurate ion to form a solid. For example, the solid formed is sometimes called soap scum, and it can build up on the sides of a sink or tub. In the experiments here, the solid formed caused the milky color in the tap water. Notice that the formation of the solid removes the laurate ion from solution. When this happens, the laurate ion is no longer dissolved in the water, and so it can no longer cause the sudsing action. Distilled water, on the other hand, contains no ions. So when sodium laurate dissolves in distilled water, it's free to cause suds. However, when a piece of chalk is added, a little bit of the calcium carbonate that makes up the chalk dissolves into the distilled water. The dissolved calcium reacts with the laurate ion to form calcium laurate solid. Thus, the addition of chalk to the sudsy distilled water causes the water to turn a milky color and the suds to almost disappear. This gives me an idea for a fun trick to play. Here are two cups of distilled water. Into one of the cups, I'm going to place a piece of chalk. I'll swirl the chalk for a little while, and that'll get some calcium ions dissolved in the water. Then I'll take out the piece of chalk and shave some soap into each of the cups. Now I'm going to blow through a straw into both cups. Which one do you think will produce more suds? Well, it sure doesn't look like the cup with the dissolved calcium in it is doing very well. Let's just try the straight distilled water. Oh wow, that's producing a whole lot of suds, as expected. 